<laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Jimmy. Uh, the winner of this Emmy category will take its place among some truly legendary shows. Shows like I Love Lucy and... Really? Mm-hmm. Uh, we can't wait five minutes? Mm-mm. Okay. Okay. Uh, sorry, folks. Uh, we're just legally obligated to uh, get COVID tests every hour. Academy policy. Yeah. But don't worry. You won't even notice she's here. So anyway, some truly legendary shows, shows like I Love Lucy, All in the Family, uh, Everybody Loves um, Raymond. You also, have, oh, wow, that's deep. You're in there. Okay. Ow. <laughs> mm -hmm. What's your birth date? Uh, I don't know anymore. I think you dented my brain. Uh, Sorry. Are we done? Yeah. We are done. Great. Excellent. All right. See? No big deal. Anyway, the nominees for Outstanding Comedy Series are. Of course, my favorite comedy is Curb Your Enthusiasm. There's three reasons. One, it's funny as hell. Two, I gave him an Emmy-worthy performance in 2001. And the third reason, there's this beautiful, sexy bald man in there. JB Smooth, I love you. Yeah, Larry, I'm still mad that you tripped me. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It is so nice to watch a female buddy murder soap opera comedy that's not just like the same old tired female buddy murder soap opera comedy that you know we've all seen before. And that's why, Linda, I am so proud of you. I love the show. Mwah. No, it's not working. For me neither, I, I can't screen record. Fork, we had one thing to do. This is Darcy Carton's big night. Son of a bench, dude. All I wanted to say was congratulations. She's one of her best friends. Yeah, and The Good Place is one of the best shows. Oh, wait, dude, I, it, is, it is working. Ah, uh, fork. Who's stressed? Not you. Who the best? It's you. Black girl magic. My girls do their duty. Plus, in the love scenes, they show the boys booties. Yeah, I said what I said. The show's mad funny. Issa's trying to find herself. Molly's got money. The in and out of love is oh so cute to see. And did I mention in the love scenes, they shout a boy's booty. Yeah. I gotta go. Uh, go insecure, Team Lawrence. I was channel surfing when I came across the Kaminsky method. Then I see it's Alan Arkin and Michael Douglas, two people that I have worked with with great pleasure. And you know, those two, I think they have a very good future. What do a 1950s socialite and a 2020 NFL defensive end have in common? They both love sacks. Like Fifth Avenue sacks, quarterback sacks, come on. I'm gonna stick with playing football. You gotta stick with making my favorite comedy, The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel. I love Schitt's Creek for its big Canadian heart, but three things really made this show an all-time favorite of mine. One, they name check me in an episode. Two, I met the cast backstage at one of my shows in Italy. And three, I found out that Daniel Levy was named after one of my songs. I challenge any other nominated comedy to top that. Our favorite show, What We Do in the Shadows, got nominated for so many Emmys. It received one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Eight nominations! Viva the Elmo! And the Emmy goes to. Uh, when do I get the results, by the way? Three to six weeks. Very helpful. Okay. And the Emmy goes to. Shits Creek! <laughs> Oh, we get one of these. Um, oh boy. Our show at its core is about the transformational effects of love and acceptance. And that is something that we need more of now than we've ever needed before. And I just wanted to say for any of you who have not registered to vote, please do so and then go out and vote because that is the only way that we are going to have some love and acceptance out there. Please do that. I'm so sorry for making this political, but I had to. Dad, do the rest of the fun stuff. <laughs>
Um, I, 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 I want to thank uh, our good friend Peter Sussman, who was so instrumental in, in, in putting this all together and getting us off the ground. I want to thank, thank Sally Caddo and everyone at CBC. Uh, I want to thank the CMF for all their financial support. I want to thank Brad Schwartz and Pop TV for putting us on the radar here in the States. Uh, I want to thank our distributor, ITV, for getting us out there around the world, and Netflix for the spark that seemed to, you know, start everything. Um, I also want to thank, once again, this young man who took our fish-out-of-water story about the Rose family and transformed it into a celebration of inclusivity, a castigation of homophobia, and a declaration of the power of love. So thank you, Daniel. Thank you, Academy. Thank you. And thank you to a tremendous cast. We are so proud to be accepting this award in the midst of some of our cast and crew members here, but everyone at home who might be watching, this is for all of you, for everyone that showed up and did their work and did it 110%. And I am so proud that I am able to accept this Emmy Award in Canada with our Canadian cast and crew. Thank you so, 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 so much.